Hello everyone, it's Loretta, and I'm going to do a video slideshow of um, where I am with my craft room organization. This is going to be video 10 in my craft room hoarder series. I am going to be having some folks, some friends over on Monday who are going to help me finish my room. Here you see my fun cows. Um, um, at one time I had a garland across here, however, they were just regular uh, Christmas type lights and um, over time they either blow a fuse or they don't work and those, those fixed set things that you can buy, they don't really work. If I do put another garland up, I'm going to be using some of the battery powered light sets. Here you can see some of my koozies made by Kathy's Koozies. That is my Vagabond koozie, and that is my koozie for my Gemini Junior. I also have a Gemini Go koozie, and a koozie for both my um, Brothers Skating Cup, which is on top, and my Cricut Explorer Air 2, which is on the bottom. And the big guy right there is an AccuCut Craft um, Grand Mark III die cutting machine. But I will tell you a little bit more about how I am going about organizing things during the slideshow. From the last time I filmed the video in episode 9 of my Craft Hoarder series, You'll notice this room may actually look a little worse than it did in that episode. I do want to let you know that it actually isn't. There just happens to be a lot of things out right now that need to find homes. One of the changes I've made recently is to buy this shelf from Walmart to have my brother scanning cut and my Cricut machine so that they are one on top of each other. I can easily slide the Cricut machine out to use it or just use the brother without having to move anything. Most of the things that you see on my desk right now, as well as on my uh, work countertop, just need to be put away. There's quite a bit of just packaging and things like that that need to be thrown away. I do hope that uh, I can at least get that done by the weekend, but we'll see. I have some friends coming over on Monday to help me finish cleaning up and organizing things. One of my biggest goals with this session is actually to go through and sort my stamps and dies and hopefully even create an inventory system or a continued inventory system in my case. I use Evernote for my inventory. The reason I like it so much is that I can use it anywhere across any device. So I can take a picture of things that I have, do a brief description, and then all I have to do is a quick word or keyword search to see if I already have something. This will also keep me from buying duplicates. I do know for a fact that there are going to be lots of duplicate stamps and die sets. This particular picture you're seeing right now is of a cabinet where I keep my unmounted dies. And as you can see, even the floor needs a really good sweep. I've added a few more storage drawers in different sizes to the cabinets. These are actually pantry units. I do have a blog post that details the cupboards that I use in my craft room. I'll try to remember to leave a card or the link to that video in this description. I actually think it might be a blog post. I also use magnetic sheets that I have on the back of my cupboard doors for dies that I use quite frequently. This works really well and the magnets are plenty strong enough to do this purpose. I did move some of my paper from wire shelves to the cubbies of my desk. This makes for quick access and easy use. If you've enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up, share my videos on your social media. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Stay happy, be a blessing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.